good afternoon YouTube. You might have noticed something different. I am on my test ride road and of course it's congested with traffic because I was a child and I couldn't wait to test ride after putting my new windscreen on. And if, for those very observant of you, yes I have a new windscreen. This is a C. Bailey aircraft grade plexiglass windscreen 24 inch the biggest one they make for this bike um, I used the measuring instructions that they posted on their website and the recommended top part of the windscreen is supposed to come between your your eyes and your nose and I measured it and estimated that the biggest one was the one I was going to need uh, lo and behold, it's right between my nose and my eyes. I actually look over top of this windscreen. And uh, this is my first ride with it. And unfortunately, because of this traffic, I have yet to get over 35 miles an hour. But already I can tell a dramatic difference. The uh, And I'm optimistic at higher speeds it's going to be even better. Because... Uh, even at 35 previously it would um, it it would shake my head I, I would feel whoa, 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 whoa. I could actually hear little snaps on either side of my helmet just snapping just go pop 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 every once in a while uh, from the buffeting that was coming off of that shorter windscreen which that shorter windscreen is actually the OEM tall windscreen you could get one of two of them on this bike from Honda and the original as they come from the factories, a little two-inch screen barely covers the uh, the dashboard up there. And then the 19 inches, their tall windscreen, and that's all they make. So I opted for the C. Baileys without the vent in the middle. And uh, so far I'm liking it. So the windscreen's much wider too, which is why they have these cutaways for the handlebars when you're doing uh, tight maneuvers. But uh, so far, I'm fairly optimistic. It, it was an easy install. I, I was done with it in about 15 minutes from cutting open the box to snapping the last piece of Tupperware back together. And, you know, I was going to try to do a video of the modification and, and you know, do the GoPro on my forehead and then do uh, maybe even a, a time-lapsed version of a camera sitting across the garage while I was doing it but I have to say I was just too impatient I, I was running out of time because I really wanted to get this windscreen on to make my riding more pleasurable and I just never seem to have the time off to really set up all the cameras and stuff if I'd done this with all the cameras and everything it might have taken me two three hours but since I did this with uh, without setting up the cameras and whatnot, I was able to get it done in about 15 minutes. So I opted to just get it done and talk about it later. So one of the more frustrating things uh, that I have, this is the first time I've had to experience it because even Japanese bikes that I've had before were either uh, more like dirt bikes and things of that nature where uh, they were just they were easy to get the Tupperware on and off in fact a lot of times they just kind of popped off anyway and I always rode older more cruddy bikes but this is the first one I've ever had that was just completely wrapped in Tupperware and <laughs> I got to tell you something uh, I've dealt with German engineers from working on Volkswagens and things like that I've dealt with American engineers for years and years and years and years and years. That's what I'm most familiar with. And I've even dealt with Indian engineers. Even though the bike is a British design, it's still been improved upon slightly by the Indians. The Royal Enfield that I'm talking about. But this bike was the first time in a long time I've really been vexed by uh, Japanese engineers. And what vexes me are the little plastic pop rivets. The ones you have to 
punch the key out in the middle to get them to release and, and that actually was the easiest part spotted that and moved right along it was putting them back <laughs> they were just in such tight spots I couldn't get enough leverage at the tips of my fingers to push them in and it just took a bit of faff to make that happen but once I did it was all good and it really it didn't slow me down a lot but I, I could see where that would potentially be a problem plus the holes were eventually wearing out and the, uh, the rivets themselves wearing out of course they're probably uh, it, relatively inexpensively replaced from Honda so there's that that's me being optimistic about on I'm not charging an arm and a leg for the matched pop rivets. But I digress. Um, right now I'm riding into the wind, doing 50 miles an hour, and there's been a pretty steady breeze all day. If you can see the fan, the queen palms up there, the fans on the top of those things, the palm fronds are moving pretty solid. So I know I'm riding right into the wind, and uh, I'm getting a little bit of wind noise and a little bit of shake here and there but I really don't think that's a shortcoming of the windscreen in fact I'm thinking the windscreen's actually hiding some of this but the important part is that my head isn't going the whole time I'm riding which is which is what that 19 inch screen was doing the buffeting was bad and and I just realized that um, I was just kind of getting used to it and tolerating it because I didn't have the shorter windscreen that originally came with the bike to change that out and uh, you know I ordered this one but they they make them to order they don't have like a, a pile of them sitting around so I had to wait for it to get built and then be delivered and that took a while so in the meantime I was absolutely not going to just let the bike sit there uh, I have to say, if it's absolutely possible at all, uh, right now, as of this moment, I'm enjoying this bike even more. I mean, it's really, really quiet. And yeah, I did. I did the exact thing that I said I wouldn't do. I went for the really, really big windscreen. So I guess I'll, I'll move on from Aqua Velva to Old Spice, and I'll start complaining about kids on my lawn. But uh, you know what? Let me tell you something. The experience of all the older gentlemen out there with tall windscreen sometimes we should listen to experience because I am way way happy with this bike now I, I don't know if it transmits in my voice but uh, I have to tell you guys something I, I'm really really pleased with this windscreen as of right now so that's all I did I just came on to talk about the new windscreen and uh, see Bailey's the finish on this thing, this windshield, is uh, is a little thicker than the other one. It doesn't shimmy, it doesn't shake, even though it's a good six, seven inches taller. It's just unbelievable. Really, really good, and I enjoy this bike so much more, so much more as of right now. So these little custom tweaks. I got the. Uh, got the pipe done got the windscreen done and I'm pretty damn happy with that so far so good all right folks thanks a lot I appreciate it bye-bye